All right, here in the top left-hand corner of the map, ESC Ohana, it is our orange Protoss player from Type 2, their captain. It is real. It is real. He's keeping it real. Yeah, he is keeping it real. Down That's here right. in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, we have our red Zerg player, winner of game number one against Type 2 DVS. It is Acer Bly. That sounds so funny to me all the Why? time as well, because when you say... I don't know. Whenever I say type 2 DVS, it sounds like a disease. I guess it's I just too close phonetically to diabetes have, or something. Type so Type 2 DVS, I'm sorry. I, type 2 DVS, I apologize, guys. That's, uh, that's Yeah, you know, you're right. But I think I actually think they're just called type now. I don't think they're oh, type 2 anymore. They're just type. Yeah, okay. I, was, I was looking it up. I was doing a little bit of research today, and yeah, I think they are just type now. All right. So, which uh, may be because of that very reason. Who knows? <laughs> it's like I'm type 2 uh, Enza. That's another player on their team. And you're like, oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Is there anything I can do? And they're like, no, no, no. It's, it's, I'm a StarCraft 2 player. Oh, okay. I thought you oh, were. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? I thought you Is were there... really ill. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah. Well, this is a kind of a cool map for PvZ because it's relatively easy to take three bases. It's also very easy for Protoss players to go after a, uh, a very fast Forge expand. This ramp is pretty narrow, just the yeah. size of the one, say, outside of the natural and Chakura's Plateau. And uh, players can even go for that Nexus first if they so desire. Mm -hmm. And looks like uh, Real is queuing up another probe as well. So it'll be a very late forge on a forge fast expand or just a quick Nexus. And it looks like it is going to be a 15 forge. I, you know, I've been doing... Oh, look at that. Trying to block the forge. <laughs> nice. He made it put him in a place he may not have wanted to. It's not going to affect the wall too much. But right. nice little move by uh, Bly there. But um, I've been actually kind of studying this map for ZVP a little bit. And it's really starting to look like a pretty good map for Zerg. Um, there's so much open space in the middle. There's a lot of flanks you can get. But on the flip side, if Zerg makes the mistake of not scouting something, of not being active in the early game, it's really easy for Protoss to push you right up to your ramp. And if you get trapped in your natural, it becomes really, really difficult to break out and stop Protoss contains. So overall, I think this is a pretty good map for Zerg, actually. But there's certain situations in which uh, Protoss can really kind of use the terrain to their advantage yeah. as well. So this is actually one of my favorite newer maps. I really, really I like agree. Ohana. Yeah. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on board with that. I, I really enjoy this map as well. We've seen games go to pretty long macro games as well. Yeah. And Bly flipping the tables on his uh, Protoss opponent just a little bit there as uh, he does decide to block his oh, opponent's no kidding. nexus. Yeah. So two photon cannons coming up. And uh, Bly actually sending out a few Zerglings now. Not starting. Oh, actually just going after speed or some sort of tech here. Mm -hmm. As the first Zerglings are making their way out on the map. Well, this is interesting. This is another, I would say, characteristic of European Zerg players. They love to uh, block expansions with hatcheries, things like that. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've seen European Zergs do that more than any other region. Oh, wow. Ooh, he's working on the back rocks, too. That's kind of cool. Oh, the Lings seen in the shadows. Is he actually going to let that finish? No, he's not going to let that finish. No, I, I would Unless he's planning not. on making roaches at that hatchery. Um, nope, he's not. Okay, there we go. Evo Chamber. Nice. So annoying. He's being very, very annoying there. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, Bly is doing all this stuff, but he's not getting his hatchery up either, right? Oh, so could block from real there to catch the drone. I figured I'd just add. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is nice for sure. Um, but, you know, it's it's not like Bly is really gaining any economic advantage. It's just kind of making it look, look like he wants to go all in a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay, it looks like this is scouted here. I think the Zealot saw the Zerglings, didn't he? Yeah, I believe he did as well. Just waiting for the second one. Now he's yeah. going to make his way out. We see the first few roaches on the way now. There are four available larvae, but ooh, uh, actually, you know, uh, Bly does have five roaches coming up, but then he's yep. about going to be supply blocks, so yeah. not too many reinforcements going to come from this. Uh, his reinforcements are going to come from unit losses more than anything else. Well, this is going to be interesting here, because um, we do have Real taking that Nexus, but you know he may want to spend the money on another forge and a cannon or two to protect those rocks, because yeah, if the roaches and the lings do get in there, completely bypasses his defenses, could possibly cause a Nexus cancel, something like that. There he does see the roaches coming out, and it will be an expansion right away from Bly as well. Kind of a, a strange start to the game here. Yeah. And I, I feel like Bly is going to be the one who's going to be kind of behind at the end of this. But look at this. Such a, a thick wall being made by Real to protect those cannons, but still not really protecting the uh, the rocks there. And now finally starting to hit a couple of those Zerglings at the very least. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, but Bly's going to have this down pretty quickly. Yep. Now, I, I, the Roaches are going to be able to get around and hit the Nexus here. A few reinforcements are making their way up. But units are starting to come in for real now. Yep. It, it, however go. you want to shake this, this is still going to be difficult for Bly. Yeah, and if he just kind of gums around the back and avoids the cannons, he might yeah. be able to uh, cause a cancel the Nexus. We'll see. He might decide to just go into the main as well. 
Bly being very aggressive in this game. Wow. Yeah, he's being Jeez. aggressive, but a little bit indecisive right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks definitely. like he may just wants to ensure that the Nexus is going to finish, but now uh, Warp Gate research is done. There are four Warp Gates on the field, yeah. and units are going to come in pretty quick. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to work out for Bly. I mean, like you said, I, I think he is looking a, bit, a little bit... Yeah, he should have. If you want to kill the Nexus, he should have just gone after it right away. Now he's just kind of got these units stuck here. Yeah. Hasn't made drones for a while. Yeah, this is just... I I don't think this is going to end up being very good for Bly. No, not What's at all. What's the worker all. count right now, by the way? He's making more links, 23 to 22. So, yeah, real having no trouble at all keeping up in workers. And with uh, Chrono Boost, you may be able to just kind of go up ahead of this. And now look at this. Real on the offensive, and Bly has to continue making units. Yeah, this is starting to look pretty good for type real. Yeah, very much so. Uh, real could move back into worker production if he so desires, yeah. though, which I assume he would start soon enough. But... Uh, uh, looks like he's more just committed to this Wargate push that's running up to the front now. Uh, yep. Most of the Roaches have gone down, or a handful of links that are out on the field, 14 more that are going to finish up, but as soon as that Zealot count goes up, it's going to be very difficult for him to break in and do damage against this. You know, I gotta say, I like the theory behind uh, Bly's build. Ooh, that's a large amount of links here, and it is mostly Stalkers. Will he be able to push him back? Well, plus one attacks is done as well, so these uh, Zealots yes. are going to be very, 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 very effective. Uh, once they can finally get a favorable engagement. There we go. Finally, four more that are starting to come up now. Yeah, he gets the probe, but uh, the pylon does finish here. There will be a lot of warp ins, plenty of zealots here. Things, again, looking really good for real. Uh, like I was starting to say earlier, I like the kind of theory behind uh, Bly's build using those back rocks on this map. It, it was a, truly a, a build built for this map, you know, clearly, but I think real just responded to it too well. You know, that what Bly did strikes me as kind of a good, like, sort of a ladder gimmick to a certain extent, but don't know if it's really the best build for a for tournament play like this. You'd have to kind of get away with it, you know what I mean? All right, well, the units are making their way up to the front. Those plus one zealots are just cleaving their way through the zerglings. Just a handful of roaches remaining now. Uh, the overlord gets picked off. That means his opponent is supply blocked. More units coming in now for real. He does have a pretty strong force up at the front now, and yeah. the uh, expansion did just get picked off. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that Bly can win this game. Real should just be able to kind of roll right over him at this point. The hatchery, like you saw, is dead. Reinforcements are just not coming out in big enough numbers for Bly. No. And the supply count continuing to dwindle. I think we're going to see a GG pretty soon here for our Merzerg player. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yep. But uh, we'll see if he can make a last-minute stand. He's trying yeah. to put up a couple of spine crawlers now. I certainly like his resilience and uh, not trying to leave the game too early. But unfortunately, I don't think there's anything he can do to fight back against this huge wave of Protoss forces. Yep. Cutting off the reinforcement pylon is certainly nice, but we know that there are a couple more pylons that are oh, out yeah. there as well. And it doesn't look like he's even able to deal with the forces that are up at the front. <laughs> Drone fight. G. G. And he leaves the game. So... That uh, was a pretty quick game. I mean, we 